All right, y'all, quick garden update. It's coming together. I've got three layers of uh, these concrete large bricks on each side to form the wall on the above ground garden here. I just need to start filling it with dirt. Um, you guys know from previous videos, that's my water barrel. That's what I'm gonna use to water everything here in the garden. Um, that tree we cut down last year, um, which has really opened up this nice bright spot of sky for uh, the garden. So we can garden in the backyard. This wasn't possible <laughs> this time last year. Um, so we're making a lot of progress here. Uh, some of the remnants of the tree using as a little garden table there um, and as kind of cornerstones. Got one there, there, little wall in the back. Um, and I'm just gonna use those as cornerstones for a few years. I may end up expanding the wall um, next year, year after. But uh, it's an ongoing process, <laughs> right? Um, this is a long-term build, not just something for this year that we're gonna plan to move. We've got this area that we can come out on. I do wanna make a walkway there, so I may start another one. I haven't figured that out yet. Um, new addition here, grapevine trellis, which is really awesome. I'm excited about that. I've got a third year muscadine and a uh, third year Catawa or Cataba, something like that. <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out how I want to plant them. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna move the muscadine to a different place in the yard. Those are native here in the Southeast and uh, I think they'll grow a lot easier um, just in the ground, even on a fence with less sun. So I'm thinking that guy may go somewhere else. Um, the Catawa will stay there. And I've got two more first year vines that are dormant, but I think I'm gonna plant this Concord with that Catawa. So there'll be one, two, and they'll grow up into the trellis um, and have two different types of table grapes, um, which is that's what we're after. <laughs> Most of what I'm planting are fruit producing um, or vegetable producing plants this is the blackberry bush he got an early start on things this year i'm probably going to put him in the ground too um so with the trellis i'm thinking i'm going to put some smaller plants in the mix there too um maybe maybe this jasmine that blooms in the spring gets real pretty um we've got another one on the porch it's huge that jasmine right there stretches that way and stretches that way. Um, so these are uh, honeysuckles. This is a honeysuckle vine. I may plant this around the trellis too and get a variation of things going. Get back far enough so you can see it. Um, and do grapes on each side. And then maybe some raspberry and blackberry vines and uh, honeysuckle somewhere and just get them to grow up take over the top that won't be for another year or two but uh yeah long-term goals these are four by fours i used a post hole digger to dig a hole filled half the hole with cement to make a little anchor down there and then filled the hole back in with uh dirt and just soaked it so um these guys are in there good they're not going anywhere. I haven't put the nails of the screws and the cross on top here yet, but I'm going to. Um, and then stretch, um, sorry, not binds, but stretch uh, wire lines um, across in the, the uh, middle of the terrace and then on top of the terrace. And this dude's starting to get some length to it. So this may be the year that he really gets gets going and uh, we're gonna put him in the ground as well all right so next up the garden box here I gotta fill this with soil I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with it right now um, being kind of
kind of a large feature to the garden. I want to put something in it that I've got a little time invested on. So I'm thinking about putting my uh, some of my second year pepper plants in the big box here. Now they'll get to be about three, four feet over. So they'll almost be at the top of the uh, of the grapevine trellis here. Um, so I'm gonna have a walkway, get paver stones, go through here so I can go through, harvest grapes on this side, peppers on this side. Um, here, I think I'm gonna do some tomatoes and some other vegetables in the, uh, in the raised bed. So that's what we're thinking so far. I still got to plant these blueberries. He's starting to get going on producing fruit a little bit. And I've got a larger blueberry bush that is, we thought was dead, but has come back with a vengeance. <laughs> so we, we probably need to move him to the yard too. Pleasant surprise from last year. Uh, this is a citronella plant. And uh, we just left it outside, kind of neglected it at the end of the year, right? It died off, and I figured at that point in time that I was going to, uh, you know, dump everything, the old root ball and everything out of that pot and reuse the pot for something. But this spring, a little baby citronella plant has started to pop back up. So we're just going to let it roll and uh, use the same one that we did last year. So there we go quick garden update as to where I'm at. I'm going to work on this thing a little bit today and over the week and I think in about a week or two start getting plants in the ground. So thanks for checking out the video. If you guys have any questions or comments let me know and uh, please like and subscribe. Take care.